is click on the link below and follow it. And I can promise you, you will get the answers that you've been searching for through this Power Pack webinar. Hey, this is Dr. Chef Timothy Moore. I see you on the other side. Have a great day. This is Chef Dr. Timothy Moore. Welcome to the webinar series. Are you at risk for type 2 diabetes? I know this is a question a lot of us ask all the time and we're like, I don't know. Well, when you think about type 2 diabetes for a minute, there are 386 million people worldwide that are dealing with type 2 diabetes. There are 90 million pre-diabetics and there are another 26.5 million known diabetics and there's another 8% of the population that's walking around with diabetes but don't even realize they're type 2. But in this Power Pack webinar, we're going to discuss those and we're going to help you see are you at risk. The first thing we're going to talk about, do you have a family history of type 2 diabetes? The next point is, do you have a processed food diet? The next point is going to be, are you overweight? Hmm. The next one is, do you have a thyroid problem? And the good one that I love the most, do you crave sugar? In this Power Pack webinar, we're going to answer those issues for you today. And you will leave knowing, are you at risk for type 2 diabetes? All you got to do to get access is click on the link below and follow it. And I can promise you, you will get the answers that you've been searching for through this Power Pack webinar. Hey, this is Dr. Chef Timothy Moore. I see you on the other side. Have a great day. This is Chef Dr. Timothy Moore. Welcome to the webinar series. Are you at risk for type 2 diabetes? I know this is a question a lot of us ask all the time and we're like, I don't know. Well, when you think about type 2 diabetes for a minute, there are 386 million people worldwide that are dealing with type 2 diabetes. There are 90 million pre-diabetics and there are another 26. Well, you have it live from the chef, the one and only. Hey, I just want to let you guys know type 2 diabetes is no joke. Hey, thanks for being a part of the stress wellness show today. Man, today we're going to go at it like never before. Stress. Man, I hope you had a great holiday. I hope you didn't eat too much. I hope you feel great. But you know, now it's time to be serious about what we're going to do and start this thing all over again. Man, type 2 diabetes, fibromyalgia, lupus, cancer. Hey, what about just staying healthy? Man, staying healthy is the thing that we want to talk about. Stress, emotions, what goes on with us every day, I promise you, it can cause us so many problems that we don't really understand how to deal with it. I know a lot of us say, ah, oh, I can deal with my stress, Chef Doc. It's not a big issue. But you know, it is a major issue when we're dealing with stressful situations. How do we fix it? How do we overcome it? How do we deal with the issues of life that, you know, it, it, as you listen to this live shot, there should be a communication point on the side that you can communicate to me. I will try to communicate back, but if I don't, check your inbox, it'll show up. But you know what? Stress. I'm amazed. I talked to someone today and they were talking about stress, about what they couldn't really do for their family for the holiday and how they wanted to do a lot of things and it just didn't work out. And I just asked them, did you have a good time with your family? And they said, yeah. Did you enjoy everything that was happening? They said, yes. So I said, you had a good time. See, we have learned to put material things in front of what we're trying to do. But you know, this is Chef Timothy Moore show. Listen, it's about you. It's not about me. It's about you. About you staying healthy, about you overcoming the obstacles that you are facing every day that are giving you so much pain that you want to get over. And you want to learn how to get well and do better in what you're doing. You know what? It ain't hard. You just got to want to do it. That's the most complicated part about it at all. You got to want to do it. And listen, you got to do it for yourself, not for your family, not for your husband, not for your boyfriend, not for your girlfriend, 
not for anybody but you. You know, it's like success. Sometimes it seems like we're going to never get to what we're trying to get to in life. Health is the same way. We have negative factors on both sides that stops us from doing the things that we want to do. Man, look, I'm amazed at how many people listen to somebody tell them they're going to die. You can't get well. There's no way around it. And I say, around what? What do you mean I can't get well? You know, think about it for a minute. Misery loves company. You can do so many things that you want to do. You have to make the decision that you want to do it. And as you make that decision, you got to want to do it right now. And as you make that decision right now, it happens like yesterday. And when it happens, it comes around and you can do it a million kind of ways. And I can promise you, you'll be more than happy with what's going to happen with you. Misery loves company. But if you just do what's required for you, I can tell you right now, it's going to happen. Now, let's talk about stress for a minute. Stress comes in so many forms, so many facets. It hits our body in so many ways, and our life seems like it's just full of chaos. And I'm going to show you chaos real quick. Chaos is what our life seems like right here. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Everything seems like it never gets done. Man, we got so many issues going up. That's our life. It seems like it's in a bottle. It's in a bottle. And, and, and no matter what you do, it seems to never go away. Stress. It can be your face break out in pimples and bumps. You break out in a rash and you can't figure out what's going on in it. Some of you call it eczema. Some of you call it ra a hives. You have digestive issues. Stress causes your stomach to be tore up. Stress causes you not to have bowel movements. Stress causes your hair to fall out. Wow, stress causes you to sit up at 2 o'clock in the morning and not go to sleep. Stress. Stress affects us when the children calls us, and we know <laughs> sometimes when they call, you don't want to pick up the phone. Oh, what are they calling for now? Stress is that call sometimes that you don't want to deal with an issue. And but we have to, because stress affects our lives in so many ways. So when, I, when you think about it, what do you want to be, do today to be stress-free? I mean, when's the last time you meditated? When's the last time some of you did yoga? Now, I don't mean to go to the extreme of yoga and pop a bone. Now listen, if you're not a beginner, become a beginner. Don't try to do something that's strenuous to you. Because stress, meditation, when's the last time you listened to your favorite song, your favorite music? When's the last time you listened to yourself? We are always in a hurry about doing things for other people, but what about ourselves? What are we going to do for us? How are we going to fix the things that seems to be blocking us from doing the things that we want to do? Stress, oh my God. Listen, Doc, this is Dr. Chef Timothy Moore. When I'm talking about stress and emotions, it's amazing how many people come to me with emotional baggage. And it's, oh, I can get rid of it. It's not an issue. But it is an issue because it's affecting your health. Just look at yourself. Are you gaining weight? Are you eating like crazy and you can't get enough foods? Or are you losing weight and you're like, what is it? I'm eating something, but most of the time you're not eating much or nothing. You know, we worry about things that we really have no control over. Why? Why are we worrying about stuff like that? Stress can kill you. I'm not saying it will, but it can. It's proven scientifically can, can kill you. But it leads to all other issues as diabetes, cancer, fibromyalgia. It jumps on your body, and it causes issues that you don't want. But stress for a minute. Well, Doc, real quick, how do, we, how do I get well from this stress? I don't want it to take advantage of me. How do I take, I, I, what do I need to do? How do I fix it? Well, the first question I want to ask you, do you want to fix it? See, sometimes the stress that we are dealing with, we are so used to it, we have become comfortable with the situation. So we don't want to change it because it becomes like second nature. It's like brushing your teeth in the morning or taking a shower or eating your favorite breakfast. It's become a second nature too. So we have learned to deal with it but subconsciously the body is having a struggle with it 
you know, some of us have so many stressful issues, issues that we are holding grudges on people that are 30 years from ago, 10 years ago, five years ago. And those people that we're holding grudges again have went on about life. But your health from diabetes to cancer has been affected by stress. You know, a lot of the cancer that we deal with, especially breast cancer in women, is stress-related. Not just hormonal, but stress. We're worrying about situations that we can't control. We're in situations that we stay in that sometimes we need to get out. You say, wait, are you telling me leave that situation? You know, I, I was in the early part of my life. I can remember young, being a youngster, and I was told, you know, there are some times we have to just get away from people and find ourselves. You know, it's amazing. Some of us will go to our grave trying to please somebody else and not follow our dream. What is your dream? What is your passion? What do you want to do for yourself right now? If you could do it today. Now, I have this question. I asked this question earlier to somebody. If you walked into your job tomorrow and there was no job, what would you do? What talent do you have right now that you can utilize that can benefit you right now? And the person was like, I don't know. So we got to talking about some of their talents. And if you think about some of the talents that you have right now, what I want you to do is take a sheet of paper out later and write the 10 things that you're really good at or that you like doing. Put it that way. Things that even if you never got paid for, but you like doing. Now, if you write those 10 things down, and some of them might be a little stressful for you, take the top three then of the 10. Now, when you take the top 10 and then take the top three, take the top one. That's the one you love and that's the one you should be doing. Now, those other two right there you left behind, you're still going to be doing them on the side. See, stress. We go to school, we get degrees, we please everybody else, but we don't please ourselves. We go to work, we take care of our children, we come home, and we get cancer. Cancer? And we don't know how to deal with it. That emotional. Those six letters. You now have cancer. Or you now have diabetic, diabetes. And you say, well, Doc, how did I get diabetes? I don't, I don't know how I got it. What did I do to get this thing? And then you ask, well, what do I eat? It's amazing when you start changing diets and people and family members are not in tune to changing a diet, eating healthy, how they can think that sugar, bread, fat, and all kind of things are healthy, which they're not. It gets us in trouble. Man, you have to think about it for a second. What are you eating today that's causing you to have hot flashes? What? Somebody said, hot flashes? Yeah. What are you causing today that's causing you having diarrhea. You know, the weather changes every day. The body changes every day. And if you think about it for a second, the body is like the sun. If you notice from the time you get up to the time you go to bed, but to, from the time you get up to as long as the sun is resonating, feeling great, you have energy. But when the sun goes down, the body is the same way. The body wakes up, and at a certain plateau, it starts to go down like the sun. And it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to be tired or sleepy. Some of us get irritable. Some of us get angry. That's those emotions. See, when you don't deal with your emotional component, some of us can't even say tonight, I or today, I love myself. You can't say it. You, you can't even say the word. You can't even look at the mirror and appreciate the person you are. I don't care what you're sick about. I don't care what, how, what sickness you're dealing with. You can get well. I don't care what someone tells you. Now, disclaimer, I have to do it. I'm not diagnosing, treating anything. I'm the nutritional guy. But you know what? You have to believe it yourself, though. Because people can tell you all day long what's going to happen to you. But if you don't believe yourself, how many of you have had someone tell them, I got a word for you? Well, God gave me a word for you. Well, if he gave them the word for you, he gave it to you, gave it to you before they had it. Trust me. Listen, mystery loves company. It's amazing how many women I talk to and men that want to go to the gym, but you know, someone says, it don't take all that. You don't have to go to the gym. Just walk around the house. 
Well, you walk around the house, it's why you're 400 pounds. Or, or your size 24 dress. See, listen, you have to do something for a minimum of 66 days. Why 66 days, Jeff? You know, you heard somebody say, oh, just 21 days, you start making a change, which you will. But after about 66 days, the body realizes that something you're doing every day is supposed to do it. So after 66 days of doing something continuously every day, now the body says, aha, this is what I'm supposed to do. So now when you get up, whatever you're doing, it's just part of your second nature. Man, just think about it, how great that is. Second nature is just a part of what you want to do. You know, I don't know what your status is right now. I don't even know what you're going through right now. But I can promise you, you can go through some things healthier, more happier, more energetic, and really appreciating what you do. Because some of us are stuck in a rut. We got Billy Bob on one side, we got Mary Jane on the other side telling us what we can't do, why we can't do it, and why it won't work. And you know what? Why do we listen to people like that? They're not going anywhere. They don't want you to go nowhere. They don't. But when it comes to your health, you got to think about it for a minute. You drink nutritious water. You go and get fresh, organic vegetables. Now, I've asked this question many times. Well, Chef, I can't afford organic. Well, you can't afford not to because think about it. If you spent 100 bucks on groceries the regular way, it's proven that you actually save $25 by eating organic. And you say, well, how is that possible? Let me explain how it's possible. Because now you don't buy all the Burger Kings and McDonald's and all the junk food, all the, all the IHOPs and all the Pizza Huts and all that. You don't go there. You now have changed what you're eating. You're not buying on impulse. You are now making your meals in 15, 20 minutes, and you're enjoying them. When is the last time you had a nice romaine lettuce salad? with carrots, cucumbers, bell peppers, onions. When's the last time you had one? When's the last time you sit down and just ate a good meal, healthy, by yourself or in a crowd, and you sit there and you say, I'm eating it for myself. See, what happens is, it's hard when we're sitting beside somebody that's eating the way they want to eat, but I'm going to tell you this. For you that are listening with spouses or boyfriends or girlfriends or whatever, significant others, you keep eating that junk food, it's going to catch up with you somewhere. Because, you know, you think about it for a second. There's two women. Both of them the same size. They're both a size 12. They weigh the same weight. They eat almost the same food. Almost. They go to the gym every day religiously for six days a week. And check the story out. Every day, the one eats junk. The other one eats regular holistic food, getting organic, all kind of food. The other one thinks her diet is pretty good. Well, they both go on long and on 30 days, 30 days. They both, well, they both look good. The one that's eating the junk said, well, I'm doing just as good as you. I'm exercising, I'm running, I'm going to the sauna. I feel wonderful. Okay, they keep on doing it. Well, 60 days come in. The one that's eating all the junk and the one that's eating the regular good food, they still look the same. But lo and behold, in that 66th into that 90-day period, the one that's eating healthy looks gorgeous. She's done looks so like a statue, like she, they just molded her, and she's eating healthy, she's getting her rest. But the one that was eating the Twinkies and the cupcakes and the Doritos and the popcorn every once in a while and the sneaking a piece of meat every once in a while, her health caught up with her, even though she looked pretty good. Diabetes, insulin resistance showed up. What? Her blood pressure numbers got a little high. Wow. She got the feeling of having digestive problems. See, we think we can go to the gym and run out of bad food. Case in point, you run the Boston Marathon. You run 26 miles, and you say, man, I feel great. I run 26 miles. I'm healthy as I can be, and you're right. But the diet, they go home, and they, you hear them on the TV, they say, I'm going to have me a, let me get it right, a hamburger, and I'm going to get me some potato chips, and I'm going to get me a, a beer. That's what they say on the commercial. And why don't they go home and find them dead in a month later or something? And when they opened them up, they said, this person is 26 miles. They should be in a perfect shape. They were. But you can't outrun plaque. See, guys, you got to think about it for a minute. Oil is oil. In my cookbook, Vegan Z, what? There's no oil, no salt, no sugar. Why? Oil can clog you up. I don't care what someone says. Oh, it's a money saturated. It's good for you. You know what? That is true. Probably it is. But why is it 
that in the Cleveland Clinic, some of the doctors there removed the oil out of the heart, of pa heart attack patient's life because the oil stops, it causes plaque in the vein. I can get more medical and technical with it, but I, don't, I want to keep it real. So when you're thinking about what you're eating, when you're dealing with cancer, when you're dealing with diabetes, you've got to understand, you've got to attack that from the nutrition and the nutrient component. You, you've got no choice. Because if you don't, man, you're going to get in trouble. Nutrient deficiency, eating the wrong type of food, nutrients, not getting your B vitamins, not getting your thyme, not getting your B6, not getting your uh, CoQ10, not getting your A vitamins, not getting whatever, your DHA, not all kind of vitamins that you're probably deficient. Because I don't know if you realize or not, for statin drug takers, you're automatically depleting B12, CoQ10, and folic acid and lipoic acid. You de you're depleting those major nutrients. And we don't realize that we're depleting them and it's causing us all kind of problems. Well, how do you fix it, Chef? You get those nutrients and place them back in your diet or your lifestyle if you're taking a statin drug. Now, I'm not telling you come off your statin drug. <laughs> I'm not diagnosing, treating anybody. But you can tell your doctor what you're going to do and do what you have to do. But ask your doctor about it. And if your doctor is a dinosaur, which means they don't believe that you can ever get well without medicine. You got a dinosaur. Find a doctor that believes like you. You know, think about it this. What do you want to do tonight? What do you want to do tomorrow? How do you want to change what you're going through right now? Who's holding you back from your dreams? Your health. Your health is the most important thing that you have. Stressing about stuff that you can't control. There's nothing like your health. You will miss out if you don't get your health under control. You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, I hear that all the time. It won't hurt. Well, I don't know if you realize or not, a little bit what starts all the problem. Not a lot, a little bit. Because we just take our finger and dip it and taste it. Oh, it don't taste bad. Or we bite a piece of it, that doesn't taste bad. Or we eat half a sandwich that we're not supposed to eat. Or that before you realize it, you're eating the whole thing. It's like... An Oreo cookie, boy. Now, if you wasn't going to get an Oreo cookie tonight, and just bit a piece of it, or tomorrow, bit a piece of it, somewhere in that day, you're going to go find the other piece of that cookie. Because you're going to want it. And when you say, well, a little bit doesn't hurt, Dr. Chef, it hurts a lot. An alcoholic doesn't drink a whole paint to become alcoholic. They start with a little shot or a little nip. You hear that? I'm just going to get me a little nip. Well, a little nip be turning into a paint, and a paint turns into something else where you know you got an alcoholic on your hand. Girl or guy, it doesn't matter. So when you start thinking about what you're eating, when it comes to cancer, you must look at the nutritional component when your body when it comes to cancer. Nutrition plays a major component. And if someone tells you it doesn't, you have a dinosaur. Nutrition is proven. People that should have been dead and gone have changed their diet to a plant-based, microbiotic diet, and they live. I like the plant by myself. And they've lived. No animal, no dairy, no salt, no oil, no junk, no processed food. I know that seems so hard. No processed food. Well, Chef Doc, what am I going to eat? You know what? You'd be amazed how simple it is to learn how to cook a processed, not processed food. So we like process all day long. Process, say it, process. Wrong answer, non process. What's the last time you made some good greens by yourself? What's the last time you made some greens, some beans, some goons, some greens? What's the last time you had a spaghetti squash and enjoyed it like some spaghetti? What's the last time you had some collard greens? What's the last time you had some mustard greens? What's the last time you had some, some brown beans, some garbanzo beans, or some, you ate a carrot stick or had a Celery stick. When's the last time you just had some wholesome food? I know. Doc, I got to have a little meat. That's your call. But I can promise you, with the recent studies talking about how meat causes cancer, which we've been knowing that for years, but you have to make your decision. Does it really cause it? Well, when it's in tune with stress. Stress is a killer. You know, think about it for a minute. Every seven seconds, someone dies from stress. Every seven seconds. Wow. And that's from zero age until an adult. Now you say, well, how can a baby die from stress? You know, a baby can be in a, an environment that's so stressful and hostile, they can't handle it, even at a baby. 
think about a dog. You can mistreat a dog so well, so long, when you lease them off that collar, they gone. They don't want to be around stress. So why should you want to be around stress? Why does someone, you want someone to have their thumbs down on you to tell you what you can't do? You can't go to the, you can't go to the gym. You can't lose weight. You can't eat healthy because I say what you should do. Hey, I know somebody's laughing. I hear women tell men that and men tell women all day what they shouldn't do. You're not pro property. You know, I think about my movie, uh, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. And I think about that scene in that movie when that guy treated that woman so bad, put her out of the house, did everything, but he got shot. Oh, he got shot. And out of all the friends, even the girl that he thought was his girlfriend, took his money and hit the dough. This is a story, but this is what, what happened on the movie. But this is real life because I find it every day. And uh, the one that he mistreated the most is the one that took care of him. In the same way as you. That person that you mistreat the worst. And you know you shouldn't be eating all that food. You shouldn't be eating all that junk. You know you should be eating more healthy. That's the one that's going to take care of you because the one is telling you not to. And you're chewing out. And you're mistreating. That's usually the one going to take care of you or someone else that you don't really like or you mistreated. And they will bend over backwards. But that ain't the problem. They're going to bath you, bathe you. They control your money. They feed you when they want to feed you. They have to change your diaper because you're stuck either on a bed or in a wheelchair. They got to take care of yourself. I want you to think real quick. Stress. I want to make a point. You can make a change today in your lifetime. This is Chef Dr. Timothy Moore. Go to drtimothymoore.com. There is a box there that you can get a free, free 30-minute consultation, and it lets you pick the date. And I can promise you this. Whatever you're going through, what you need to change, you can change it starting now. Is it complicated? Nope. Can you do it? Yep. How bad do you want to do it? You can do it right now. It's really not hard. You just got to want to do it. And as we do it, you can do it and feel so much better because you know what? A lot of things that we're going through, it just really seems complicated. It seems like, man, I can't do it, Chef. It's hard to do, and ain't nobody going to believe me, so I got to do it for myself. You know what? And you do got to do it for yourself because what you're going through is all about you and nobody else. It's about you. Hey, guys, I'm going to leave this with you for a minute. Did you write down the 10 things that's stressing you out or 10 things that you want to do and change your life? Did you scratch out the top three and then take the top one, then the top two are just like gravy? You know, whatever you're going through from your children to your job to your spouse to your significant other to your children to just life, you got to learn to chill. You got to chill for a minute. You got to enjoy yourself. You got to feel free to do the things that you want to do and enjoy them. You know what? I, I said it. Misery loves com company. Whew. Misery loves company. And they do. They really do. But you don't have to deal with misery. You really don't. Trust me on this one. How do you want to change your life today? If there was one thing tonight, tomorrow, the next day, but let's say today. If there was one thing you could do now to change your life and make you truly happy, what would it be? What would it make, what would make you so happy right now? It's like a wall just fell off your back and you feel so much better right now. What would it take? What would you have to do? What would you have to give up? See, that's what you got to think about. Your health is your number one adversary. Your health it's the most important thing you have, not your car, not your house, your health. Because without your health, you can't do anything. I want you to realize health. So you don't have to get cancer. It's been proven. Dr. T. Colin Campbell wrote about it in his book, The Channel Study. Dr. Carl Edison wrote about his book, in Re Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. Heart attack proof yourself. When they went on CNN, and they talked about it. See, there's some things that you can do to heart attack and cancer proof yourself and diabetes proof yourself and because it's been reported that you don't have to get diabetes. Diabetes can be prevented and reversed, but the problem is we don't want to change our life. We don't want to change what we're eating. We don't change the stress situation, and we want to just stay in that comfort zone. It's like, well, 
I got to die from something. Or now, don't put this on God. God didn't give you the ailment. He allowed it to happen, but he didn't give it to you. So I hear it a lot of time. Well, I guess God just wanted me to get this. He didn't do that. We serve a perfect God. Now, for you that don't serve God, don't believe in God, but you believe in another being, that's your deal. But I can promise you, my tags say on my car, if you don't believe there's no God, you better not die because something created us. And I promise you, it wasn't what you think. You know, this is not about religion. This is about you, though. It's about you making a change. It's about you living today for you. It's about you making a change now. Say, Chef Dr. Moore, what do I need to do? Number one, you make a decision today. Write it in your journal. I'm going to change something. Whatever it is, my weight, my health, my life. I'm going to read a book. I'm going to stop listening to all kind of junk. I'm going to get out that TV and quit watching all those shows that don't mean nothing to me. They ain't going to do nothing to me. Because if I ask you, it's amazing. I can ask you about a TV show. You can tell me more about a no good TV show. But I can ask you something about the world, and you don't know this, and you don't know that. You don't have a clue. I can ask you something about being motivated. You don't know. But I can ask you about something on TV. You know. Wrong answer. And that's what my mother did. Thank God she was not a TV person for us. She made us read a book every week. Get out that TV. They got theirs. Get yours. But what is it you're trying to accomplish? What is it you want to do? It ain't as complicated as you might think. And you know what, guys? I appreciate it. This is the Chef Timothy Moore. Go to drtimothymoore.com. That's Get Real. Tell your friends about the show. Pass this link on to everybody you know for the replay. Comment below and tell me how you liked it. Tell me, hey, like this and tell everybody about it. Hey, guys, the Chef Timothy Moore Show is awesome. Next week, same time, but it'll be a little earlier. I promise you, you can get involved in changing your life tonight, tomorrow, today, whenever. Let's do it today. You know what to do. Make the change. Say, I'm going to do it for me now. I'm not going to listen to nobody else again because when it comes to my life, my health, my well-being, I'm tired of being misguided and misled. And if I look around, everybody's sick. So it must be something I'm doing wrong. And remember, can't nobody force you to eat, drink, anything that you don't want to. So you have to make a decision. When you and your friends go out to eat, you have to ask the manager, hey, do me a favor. I want to eat this way. And usually the manager can make you a different healthy meal because his mother, his sister, his brother, somebody he's around eats healthy so they know in the shelf in the back how to cook it. Hey, don't feel embarrassed because you know what's going to be amazed when you go and eat that meal. Everybody at your table is going to say, I should have did what you did. I should have got that kind of meal. Don't let, don't get tempted. Don't get frustrated because everybody around you want to eat something. You know what? Forget that stuff, man. This is your health. You know, I'm going to tell you this. I got a client that, well, I had a client that, so sad, was dealing with a kidney issue and diabetes. And she was told she had to get on a uh, kidney dialysis machine. And her husband was like, no, nah, you're not getting on kidney dialysis. You're not doing nothing healthy. And we, did, we devised a um, nutritious program. Really, really good. Talked to her doctor about it and everything. Everybody was on board. We had it good. And she was getting great results. She lost about 40-something pounds now. She was about 280, 290 pounds. And, uh, man, it's amazing. She lost about 40 pounds. She felt good. She could literally, they would take her to church on Sunday mornings, and she'd have to have the guys bring a wheelchair to the door. They'd have to take her to the sanctuary in a wheelchair. Well, 90 days, she could get out the car herself at the door. No, at the parking lot, walk to the door, walk into the church, into the sanctuary, just by changing what she was eating. But goes back to what I said earlier. Other people can get in our mind and they can change everything that we're doing. And her husband did. And I was shocked to find out that she passed away. Oh, that messed me up. Now, the sad part about it is the husband has called me about five times because it's guilt. Don't you get in a situation like that. Make the health decision for yourself. You know what? You can do it. You can be who you want to be starting today. You can live like you want to live like never before. Don't worry about what happened in the past. Let's go futuristic. Let's go to the future. Say, I'm going to lose the weight. I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to start drinking water. I'm going to start getting rest. I'm going to start feeling great about myself. I'm going to get these emotional issues under challenge. 
Find somebody that understand emotion, not somebody trying to just make you deal with emotion. Because you want to get that off of your back and start to live healthy. Hey, this is Chef Dr. Timothy Moore. Man, it's been blessed. It's been wonderful. We're going to have a great time. I want you guys to know life is going to treat you wonderful. You're going to do whatever you want to do. So just keep alive. Keep living. As the good Reverend used to say, keep hope alive. You know who the good Reverend used to be? The good Reverend Jackson Jackson. He said, keep hope alive. Keep living for yourself. Keep doing the things that you know that are good, and I promise you, you are going to be just fine. So, guys, remember, this is Chef. Pass this on to your friends.